Hey students, welcome to uh, 293. We're going to talk about how to fully define your sketches. A lot of you are doing it, uh, but some of you still are having problems. Uh, we're also going to talk about the fully defined option. Uh, we're going to show you some shortcuts uh, using the S key. Uh, and lastly, I'm going to show you a couple of uh, orientation commands uh, to make it easier on you uh, when you're orientating a part. So let's get started. Let's go into SolidWorks. Uh, let's pull it up. Uh, the first thing I'm going to do, I usually do a control in, which is new. Uh, you can always go to File and hit New. Make sure your part's highlighted. Hit OK. Okay, uh, so let's do a sketch on the front plane. So what I'm going to do is highlight the front plane, right click, and go to my sketch key. Alright, uh, first thing I'm going to show you is the S key. S key, you can hit S. Alright, uh, this brings up uh, in your sketch mode. This tells me I'm in my sketch mode. This brings up uh, line command, offset command, color command. This is this is customizable. So if I did a right click here and I wanted to customize it, uh, I could actually bring in uh, things uh, straight slide. If I wanted to drag that and bring it in there, I could bring it in there. Uh, let's do an extrusion and ball. So I'm going to throw that in there. Uh, Move it over here, maybe on this side. Uh, let's see if I can move that, maybe. Okay, I uh, took it out. Actually, I want to move it right here. And it doesn't want to cooperate with me, so let's take. There we go, and moved it down out of the way uh, where it's not in in the normal slot of where my geometry's at. Okay, and you can add anything you want to. Like I said, this is fully customizable. Hit OK. Um, you notice it's not active right now, but it will be active when I get out of the sketch. All right, so just simply hit the S key. And we're going to go to our line command. Now. Fully define your sketches. I want you to always start from the origin. I'm going to click, bring a line out. Notice that that line is black, all right, while the rest of these are blue. All right, we're going to bring an escape. I'm actually going to put me a center line down through the middle so I can do a mirror. Now what this does, this allows me, I'm going to hit the mirror command, I'm going to choose all of this, uh, choose the mirror line, hit OK. Now what this allows me to do, uh, I can actually now go across putting dimensions and notice that it's going to define both sides. Um, I like to put all of my horizontals and all my verticals in in a row. Alright, so there's that one. Uh, let's go to this one. Okay, go to this one. Alright, notice that I might have to put one in here. Try to conform guys to the mission practices that I've taught you in the 102 and 112 class. Okay, here you have a part that's fully defined. Um, let's keep the center line in there for now. If you get rid of the center line, here's what happens. Uh, you got to go back and you got to pull dimensions for all these. Um, now let's talk a little bit. I'm going to go back and put that center line back in. This is called the fully defined sketch. Um, 
try to stay away from it unless you absolutely have to use it. And especially stay away from the all entities in Sketch. Uh, you want to choose select entities, for instance, select the ones that are blue. Uh, just try to stay away from the relations uh, unless you absolutely have to put a geometric, this is called a geometric relation in there. We want to try to put dimensions in there as much as possible. I'm going to pick this piece, this piece, this piece, this piece. I'm going to say yes. Uh, notice I didn't pick anything over on the other side simply because uh, this part is mirrored. Uh, the thing about this, you got to go back and you got to clean it up. Uh, so it's really not a big of an advantage as you think it is. Okay. Now here's the part that's fully defined. Uh, I'm going to hit my S. Uh, well, I'm going to go back and I'm going to put it back to where it was at with the, with the center line in it. Just go back, 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 right there. All right, this is a typical, fully defined, robust model. Uh, everything's black. Uh, of course, I mirrored it. Uh, and say I'm ready to extrude. I'm going to hit my S key. I'm going to hit the extrude command. Uh, extrude 2. And OK. OK. Uh, what else? The space bar. Uh, if you hit the space bar, you're able to change your orientation um, to whatever. Uh, if you want this to stay on the screen, you can always hit this uh, pin. Pin will allow this to stay on the screen. What else on here? Let me think. Uh, let me rotate this. Now, if, if you're in a, a orientation and you want the and you're working on this front or whatever and you want that to be your orientation you can hit your space bar and go normal two and SolidWorks is very intuitive and it knows you're working on that side uh, say I'm working on this side I can go normal two uh, SolidWorks will automatically give you that orientation alright so to recap uh, let's look at this sketch again okay it's all black I started from the origin all right, I pulled my geometry. Uh, use the mirror. Uh, use the mirror and the center line when possible. Sometimes that's not possible. Uh, now this is all straight geometry to create the feature, but it would it would work. I'm gonna discard changes. Um, it would work with cylinders too. So if I do a new part, um, I'm gonna do the top lane for this cylinder, and all you gotta do is start it from the origin. Okay, notice that it's still blue because it's waiting on an actual dimension for the diameter. Then it turns, it turns black. Uh, and then you can start pulling geometry. For instance, if I, <clears throat> you'll notice that I'll get a little highlighter that says that's a coincidence. And basically that's going to be black because um, coincidence here and coincidence here. Uh, let me put me another angle line in here starting from the origin. I'll just go on out there and then I'll do a trim. Higher trim. Uh, notice that it's blue. Well, it's waiting on an angular dimension. So what I'm going to do is hit my S key, go to dimension here and here, and put me an angular dimension. And now that is uh, confined, fully, fully defined. How you can find out, you can go up here, uh, hit the fully defined button, and calculate. There's nothing there. All right, so it's pretty much fully defined. Okay, so from now on and from moving forward, I want you guys to try to keep your sketches fully defined. Uh, it's not that hard to do, as I showed you. If you got any questions, just send me an email. And I'll be posting some more videos as we go forward.